Tory and LCC, those kids have been playing against each other and with each other, you know, since many of them since the first grade. And so I think as the years have gone by, they've created some nice friendships. But ultimately, this game, there are no friends. Only people that matter are in this room. Okay, stay together. They're definitely going to make a run at some point. They're going to have some success. Stay together. Work together. Together, you will beat them. Any questions? Hey guys, you should feel excited. You should feel ready to go. Okay, harness it. Right, harness it. It's a long game. Let's go. Let's go, boys. All we want to do is replicate what we did last week. Okay, bust your ass for four days, you'll beat LCC. All right, tonight we're getting right into partner passing, get five balls each, and we're going to go the ground ball drill into four on fours, and then we'll get into six on six and man up, man down, and we're done. We've got to be quick tonight, we've got to be efficient. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, team! My name is John Ozizzi, and I'm the head men's lacrosse coach here at Torrey Pines High School in San Diego. Torrey Pines High School is a public high school. We are three quarters of the way into the season. The home stretch of the CIF schedule is coming up. Biggest game of the year is the rivalry game with La Costa Canyon. Always is, sort of always will be. It's a game where records go out the window, uh, and it's probably one of the best rivalries in the state across the board with all sports. Oh, let's go, let's go. We get set to score every single time. Beat your man, draw a slide, and then ready to pump it. practice not enough time okay Wednesday huge practice for us Thursday is a walkthrough okay got to maximize our time together got to win the day okay today you won that was good you brought it 60 minutes could be 120 tomorrow you got to bring it right that's what will get us this one on Friday bulletin board, pertinent stuff. Every night the practice plan is out here detailed minute by minute so the kids know exactly what they're doing uh, and kind of why they're doing it. Whiteboard stuff, coaches can come in here and sort of draw stuff up or older guys can bring underclassmen in and just go over X's and O's on the way out. Victory bell, kids ring it after every win. Finalists and runner-up trophies and then the championship trophies behind it. And then you see across the walls every single team picture since 2003 when the sport went varsity in California. It's just sort of paying homage to all the guys that helped build this program. We share a regular locker room with the entire school and we really needed to make something our own space. And you know, believe it or not, the guys are in here more than they probably should be, but it's good. It really helps bring the team together. Defensively, I think I like we're in a good place where we're at right now with this. Offensively, okay, every time you were decisive, okay, great things happened. Every time you panicked, all right, we got stuck. Okay, so again, guys, plan on man-to-man -man for Friday. You get a zone. We're more than ready. Yeah, girls! Yes, turn their goalie. Let's go.
decent, okay? Good, not great. Okay, last week we were great every night. Tonight wasn't our best one, okay? Too much side chatter, too much distraction, okay? When guys aren't in, you're gonna be watching and helping your teammates out, not fooling around. Okay, we don't have time to monitor that. With LCC coming up, you know, the kids look forward to a genuine, organic, real rivalry that I don't think a lot of high school kids are able to have in, in their careers. And so it's special. Both teams, lacrosse-wise, are very good this year. You know, it's the battle for number one in Southern California, on top of the fact that it's the TPLCC rivalry. And for the brief two hours that we're playing, records go out the window, friendships go out the window, you know, and it's a dogfight. Hey, short stick to you have to help us and get up. Three out three, one, two, three. Hey, boys, don't be out Little tiny plays are what won you the game. It's a huge win. You're number one now, okay? And you have every bragging right in the world, all right? More importantly, guys, you're gonna see him again in two or three weeks. Keep doing the simple things, all right? Extraordinarily well, you're gonna be champions. We're always in the hunt for a championship. We've won five, so you have championships, have four finalist trophies. You know, success in that realm has, you know, stayed the same. We've changed the definition of success, and it's the character of the team, it's what they're doing in the community. It's how much they're liked on campus. With so many kids that are good at lacrosse nowadays, the differentiator of who plays in college is you know, kids with good character and kids with great grades. And so you know, the foundational piece for us is having those relationships and having that trust so that our kids are okay with us getting on them if need be. And we don't have our own kids and these kids are you know, like our own and we treat them as such and you know, it's important to us. We've got Bishops and Coronado, two more really tough games, and then the playoffs. Okay, so, good luck to you. Yeah, thanks so much. All right, Samir. You ready for you might, you might, you might, you might have to stay with us for the playoffs now. <laughs>